What is going on, guys? It is Jack Ultramotive here on my own for the first time in a while. I'm usually always with my buddies, my friends, the Ultramotive crew, or the Ultra gang. But today we are here alone, and we're going to be doing a bit of a Let's Play, which I haven't done in ages. And that's because I wanted to test something out, and I only needed myself to do this. That's why I didn't call in the crewmates or anything. But basically, as you guys know, or if you don't know, the production car world speed record has now been breached of 300 miles an hour, which is a new record in itself. And that is from the Bugatti Chiron. I want to say a modified model of theirs that they've kind of turned into a Chiron speed tail. And it basically hit 304 miles an hour on the Volkswagen test circuit. And today I wanted to see what the current Chiron in the game can hit on the freeway and it's going to be a bit of a challenge because we are not going to have the freeway closed off unlike the volkswagen test circuit it's going to probably have traffic on it and it has a lot of bits and turns kind of in the middle that doesn't give us a good straight point so we're basically going to see how fast i could at least reach the limits um on the highway over here so with that we're going to have to say our condolences to the uh koenigsegg gear rs who has sadly been outranked i want to see him come back fight back to bugatti i want to i kind of want to see how this is going to play out from here on out but let us go make our world record car basically we're going to go uh purchase a fresh stock one i love the og release spec of the chiron that is just the most ideal look but we're going to go put on the world record look so that we are in kind of, you know, reasonable attire for the job. I believe this is it. Perfect. Thank you, kind sir, for uh, having this design made. Yes, we shall make the purchase of $2.4 million. While we're at it, go check out the uh, last of the Ultramotive merch right there. As you guys can see, literally the last of these t-shirts are going to be around. And those of you that pick it up, I mean, you're going to have the limited edition because we're probably never going to make it again. So I think we're basically set because what I want to do is I want to see what we can reach stock. Because I know that, you, yes, you can modify this car in the game. And at the same time, the Chiron Speed Tail, or whatever you want to call it, is modified on its own. So I want to see what basically a stock Chiron could be able to do. Because for now, that is the current production model. And I believe they haven't really gone out to produce more of the World Record Edition uh, Chirons, which they probably will in order to remain in that title. So we're going to go fast travel over to the freeway. I feel like this is going to be really frustrating. I mean, I haven't had a moment in gaming in a while where I've legit been frustrated at something, which in my opinion is kind of sad. I think the whole point of gaming is to, you know, get so into it that you're almost raging. I mean, that's just when you know a game has just basically gotten your attention and it is good. We're going to basically come around the roundabout, put it in the second, lock it in, and let us go fly. We see that rear wing just slowly reside down to its most aerodynamic position and we're already hitting 200 miles an hour here trying to make our way through the middle of traffic okay we just dodged that truck now we're back in the tunnels 230 251 holy cow it's so fast but yet we have such a ways to go if we're trying to get to 300 and this is where the highway gets kind of Messi, ah, see that definitely slowed us down. See, that was such a sharp corner. I think if I'm gonna master this, I have to hit the apexes precisely at all the right limits. I don't know why I'm on this side now. <laughs> We're on literally the opposite flow of traffic. All right, and just like that, I think we've already made it to the other end. It literally feels like nothing to get from one end of the highway to the other when you are in a car that can reach speeds of 260 plus miles an hour. Now, I think the only other place in the game that you can do this in is kind of the beach, the sands area where we filmed our rocket car challenge. But even that, because it's sand and it's not asphalt, it will definitely limit us from exceeding the top speeds that we want. So the highway is our best bet. Now, I'm sure I could really go all out and try and probably perform some sort of race or get it all set up so that there's no traffic. But traffic is going to be the little bit of challenge that we're going to have to work with here. But I think traffic's not even that bad. I could just angle it right through the middle the real problem that lies is just the fact that this highway isn't dead straight and yep here we have our main corner yeah we're back down below 200 come on baby 
All right, back in the tunnel. All right. 245. Ooh, close call. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah. Okay, I think we have to go the other way. The other way, it, it might only be one directional because going this way does not get us anywhere near close. We almost hit, I think we hit 260 on the very first trial. I heard a rumor that Bugatti was going to call this car like something like the 300 mile an hour edition or something like that, which in my opinion is absolutely really silly and it's just like way too titled in their in their stance i mean think about how casually koenigsegg went about it i feel like you should just title it the wrc edition just like the last veyron especially how the livery is almost the exact same and just keep it consistent like that rather than call this car the 300 mile an hour car and that that just is so in your face i think the reason why this way is a lot easier is because it's slightly downhill i think we have the slope to our advantage over here yeah this is definitely somewhat on an incline. <laughs> I forget that there's rewind too. That's the biggest thing. Why go through all these efforts when there's literally rewind? Okay. All right. So basically I need to calculate what's the best way to go about this turn. Cause this turn coming up is our, it is our obstacle that we must face. God dang it. Yeah, that turn is just so sharp. I think I think it's literally up to this point. Whatever the fastest speed you could hit is like what you can get. Because this, this area of the freeway is just so choppy. Why can't this game just have the Volkswagen stretch? That would be very helpful. All right, I'm going to go fast travel restart. And I'm going to definitely prepare myself for basically the fastest I could get the car from here all the way up to about there. Because that's about the most straight area of the freeway. Everything else is a little bit kind of tangly. Are you guys ready? Let us launch away. Around the roundabout. Drift it. Get a good old skid for good luck. And then bang the gears all the way up. Them electronic gears. Oh, we got some big boy traffic threading the needle. Oh, we didn't hit anything. It's just that it definitely threw me off guard. What really doesn't help is that the road surfaces are wet now. And I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes. I'm trying a different tactic on just busting through the entire roundabout, getting more speed advantage as a head start. We'll see if it does anything in the long run. I saw 268. I'm determined to break that, though. We got hit 269. That's that's just... We're going to do that. All right, we're going to start all the way back as far as we possibly can. Come on, gold. 269 miles an hour, if not more. Let us see what we're working with here. Oh my god. Bruh. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. We got the 269. I didn't see 270 or anything above. It literally stayed there for the longest time while we still had a stretch left. So I think that might be the most we could do. Um, and this is going to pain me. But what I still want to do see is compare this stock Chiron to a uh, Koenigsegg Agera RS, the previous holder. Let us see what that can do. Because I know this obviously isn't about trying to reach the fastest speed in the game. It's more about a comparison on what the stock Chiron can do in the game compared to this world record holder. See how factual Forza statistics can be with probably a mix of a thousand other variables added on. But, oh boy. Let's go bring in this big old twin turbo beast oh boy this car isn't going to be anywhere near as easy to handle but hopefully once you're at such high speeds 
there's only so much of a difference. Alright, once again, we're going to inefficiently crash through the roundabout to get onto the... Free, um, okay, there we go. Holy cow, we're already ranking up speeds on a much quicker level. Oh my gosh! Oh, 279, 280, 281. This thing is definitely faster than the stock shoe on in the game. Anyways, I mean, so far, I do know that, yes, the Koenigsegg, Yesco, or Jesco, whatever you want to call it, will be coming to the Forza franchise. I don't know if it's coming to Horizon 4 or if it's coming to a future Forza game. But they scanned that. You guys can go watch my vlog when it went to the uh, studios. Um, and I'll be interested to see on what kind of speeds that can withhold stock added to the game. As well as, you know, if they will ever add this new Chiron record holder. Because currently, the uh, stock Chiron is definitely not capable of reaching speeds of 300 miles an hour in this game. That just definitely seems solid. So, who knows? That's all I've kind of figured out. It was fun to uh, do a little frustrating speed test, as usual in the game. But, thank you guys for watching keep up either watch a vlog of mine that'd be much appreciated or stay tuned for the next uh forza video with the gang and with that this is gonna be jackal Jamotive signing off Ultra.